Shalom, shalom to the nation of Israel, shalom. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaha Kadash. Double honor to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone, that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there, scattered abroad, unlike to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men, peace and blessings. To the remnant, men, women, children, Shalom, right? So it's your brother Shopper, right? So I wanted to come back in. And so yesterday, when I went out to the to the highways, you know, I had a whole nother lesson, you know, kind of in my head what I was going to get into. And so, um, well, the spirit led me another way, you know, I started, you know, I thought I was going to go this way, and I started doing something else, you know, because, you know, my son, you know, my two sons was out there, 24, 26, and then another younger brother came out there, so I was trying to, you know, I was trying to, you know, I guess do a lesson kind of towards them, cater towards them, because they was there, right? So, but today I wanted to kind of go into, the name of this one is going to be The Beast. The image, the beast, the image, and his mark, right? So yeah, so let's get let's get into it, man. So before we get started, let's 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 clear this up, right? The beast is your top your top wicked elites, your top your top elites, Edomites, you know what I'm saying, your Rothschilds, your Oppenheimers, your DuPonts. You know what I'm saying? NATO, the EU, um, this Roman system. That is the beast. That is the beast. That's the beast, right? The image of the beast is the New World Order, the system, democracy, following the LBGT community, and all of that stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um... That's 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 the the image. The image is following after the things that they push it, the agendas that they push it. You know what I mean? Because all of the agendas that they push is meant to lead society astray, to get you to lose your soul or follow them. You know your your rapper con your your rappers signing these contracts and all that. That's following after the image. The mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. That's the that's the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is that it's not embargo. It's not sleeping with white women. It's not believing in sin. It's no, it's none of that stuff. The mark is the chip. The 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 um the bedrock juice. The bedrock juice right here. That 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 that's not the mark, man. That's a precursor. That's one of the things that the beast is pushing. You know what I mean? The, the wicked elite, NATO, you know, the military got a, um, said they got one of these right here. You know what I'm saying? The, the military say they got one of these right here that they can implant inside you and it could detect this. Now, now, when the military start pushing that, that's, that's the mark. That is the mark right there. Make no mistake. This is the mark right here, man. This is the mark. What is the RFID microchip? You know, how is it linked to the New World Order? This is the this is their um, mark that they push. It. So now, so I wanted to come back. Like I said, I wanted to come back in and I wanted to do a lesson based on that. So let's get to the scriptures. Let's get to these scriptures. So yeah, so like I said, I just wanted to come back. It, it been on my spirit to do this lesson for a minute. You know what I mean? Let's go, let's start at, let's start with Revelation 15, let's go there, Revelation 15 and 1, so I'm going to take my time with this one, you know, I hope this, this lesson is edifying, you know what I mean, so Revelation 15 and 1, and I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels, having the seven, seven last plagues, 
for in them were filled the wrath of the Most High. So, no matter who created, you know, whether it was Wuhan, whether it was America, whatever, ultimately, um, the, 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 this is from the Most High. <laughs> Left hand energy. The, 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 all of it, this is from the Most High, man. Everything happens from the Most High. And I saw as if it too. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them that had got the victory over the beast, over his image, and over his mark. See, right there, it's telling you it's three things, man. They not all one thing, man. Look, again, fifth Revelation 15 and 2. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had got victory over the beast, over the image, over his mark. And the number the and over the number of his name stand in the sea of glass, having harps of the most high. See? So the elect, man, the one third, is gonna get victory over all three of those things. So they are three separate things, man. They not one thing, man. Again it says over the beast, over his image, and over his mark. And so we just done explain that, so let's keep going. Let's go Psalms 23. Yeah, man. I was like, yeah, I had to get this one out, man. I had to, this one kept in my head, kept in my head. And after yesterday, lesson or whatever, I felt, I felt good. Part of me felt good about the lesson. You know what I mean? But then the other part of me was like, that's not the lesson that I wanted to do. That's not. You know what I'm saying? So the spirit was on me, man. Do the lesson. Do the lesson. Do the lesson. Psalms 23 and 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, which is America, man. Um, Ezekiel 37th chapter. Dead bones. You know what I'm saying? I will fear no evil, for thou, thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me. In the presence of my enemy, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely the most, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. See? So this is the, the, the 144,000 and the one-third remnant. Because you see right here, let's go here, Ezekiel. Not Ezekiel, Salakia, Zechariah. Let's go Zechariah 13 and 8. And I love this one, but let's let's listen to what it's actually saying. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. And the third part shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part, that's the one-third remnant, that's the one-third, the hopeful elect, and the one-third and I will bring the third part through the fire. Through the fire is, is this is this is fire. This is test. This is the, the, the you know this is this is the test for us right here. Jacob's trouble. You know what I mean? Not bowing down to the to the um to the um unrighteous decrees they get. We are gonna get that next, right? But I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will refine them as silver is refined. I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. I will hear them. I will say, this is my people. This is my people that's not going for this. That's not going for this. That's not going for that. That's not mesmerized by the Edomites. The top wicked elite Edomites, man. And the BS that they pushing. You know what I'm saying? And I will refine, I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name. I will hear them. I will say, this is my people. And they, sh they shall say, the Lord is my power. See? Let's keep getting it. Well, let's go over here to Isaiah. Because you know, the, these things right here is, you know, these things are in the scriptures for a reason. Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe to, unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that write grievousness, 
which they have prescribed, which they have, they write unrighteous decrees upon uh, grievousness <laughs> that they have prescribed, man. That, the, that, that these heads right here, you got your, you got your, um, George Soros, you got, um, the Queen Elizabeth, you got, um, you know, um, Bill Gates right here, you know what I'm saying? Um, these are the Rothschilds, these are the heads that's, you know what I'm saying, that's behind it, the global elite. The global elite right here, you know what I'm saying? These, that's the, that's the beast that's pushing this stuff. This is the beast. And the beast is pushing his image, his his philosophies out here. You know what I'm saying? And one of his philosophies that he's pushing is you're gonna be better off with this with this potato chip in you, right? So let's keep getting it. Let's go back to Psalms 91. Let's go Psalms 91. Yeah, so like I said, man, I wanted to come back in. I wanted to take my time with this one. You know what I'm saying? He that dwelleth in the secret, Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of, of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress and my power. And I will trust in him and not this. You know, you can't trust in this, man. You know what I mean? You can't trust in this, man. Surely three. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the follow, follower and from the noisome pestilence. See? So let's get back to the, let's get back to the, some, let's go back to Revelation. Man. Let's go back to Revelation 18 and 3. I think it started at 3. For all, look, Revelation 18 and 3. Yeah, let's start at 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. See, now the fornication would be, let's, let's, get, a, let's get this picture right here. See, some of the fornication that they got, you got your Democratic Party. Democratic Party, your, your democracy, you know what I'm saying? The, the iconoclasm where they changed up everything or whatever right here you know you, you got your your child love pedophilia is a natural sexual orientation see these are some of the things you know the how they changed the images when iconoclast came out this is a picture right here of them changing the images this is a guy changing the images right here they go another this is how they change the images this is the wrath of their foreign, that's part of the wrath of their fornication. When they came back out in six in 1368 or in the late 1300s, they came back out with, with, with the wrath that they was going to change everything, that they was going to be the most high, see themselves as the most high. This is what they did, man. So, so um, committed fornication with her and the merchants, of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. This is the point that I wanted to get right here. Four, 18 and four. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye, that ye receive none of her plagues. And I get, again, this is a plague, man. This is a plague right here, man. I just seen where, um, Dr. Bouchy, <laughs> bum ass Dr. Bouchy, um, said that, you know, he, he don't see nothing wrong with um, them mandating the bedrock juice for students to go to school, man. Unrighteous decrees, man. Right grievousness, man. You know what I mean? This is, this is, this is what's going on. And again, those are three separate things. The beast, his image, and the mark. And the image ain't no damn Caesar Brogier, man. The image is not Caesar, not Caesar Brogier. <clears throat> he's part of one of the philosophies, one of the philosophies that he's pushing, Christianity. I even seen last night where the um, Trinity read, read um, 
re re doing some reading and research that the Trinity is um is not not an original idea. That goes back to Egypt. The the Trinity is part of a Egyptian a, a, a Egyptian um philosophy. So these are the things that they came back out here with, man. Gangster rap music. You know what I mean? These are things the, the um philosophies and fornications that they pushing where you could rap about killing people and selling drugs in America and make money. <laughs> this is the shit, man. Five. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the most high have remembered her inequities. Plenty of inequities, man. Plenty of inequities, man. And we are at the end, man. Yeah, I, I, let's go back. Yeah, let's go down to eight. Eight. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, mourning, famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord power who judgeth her. Except, like we said, the one third. The one third is going to get pulled out of the fire. Two thirds is going to be stuck here and going to burn, man. Especially if you believe in this, because if you believe in this, you're going to accept that. Listen, let's make sure I got I got my little point of the day. If you if you believe in this, you're going to accept these, man. You going you going to accept that, man. Once you accept this, man, you're done. You're done. You're done. And some of the stories you hear from people getting this put in them right now. Is 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 um how you know like I said I heard of a, a sister um getting this and she she lost her baby had a miscarriage man. You can't put your trust in them man. You cannot trust them man. Like like Apostle um um Tahar said yesterday watching this his live street they watching the Apostle's live street lesson. He said if they are the devil they wicked as hell. They've been wicked as hell all these years. Now, all of a sudden, you can trust them. Now, all of a sudden, you're going to trust them, not just in theory, but you're going to trust them enough to get this in you. So, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. Let's keep getting it. Let's go down to 10. Standing, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city, is in one hour is thy judgment come see so it's gonna be quick man this is gonna be quick it's gonna be old it's gonna be over man it's gonna be over 16 and saying alas alas that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls for in one hour so great riches is come to naught and every shipmaster and all the companies in ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood far off. See that that's that's America, man. This is America right here that they talking about. Babylon. Babylon the Great is gonna fall. And if you buying into this, you accepting that, you following the wicked elites and the shit that they talking about, you gonna get burnt up here with them, man. Let's go Isaiah 2 and 2. Let's see what that got. Isaiah 2 and 2. Let's start at 1 though. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, the Israelites, nobody else. And 2, this is the point. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on the top of the mountain. See? So the mountain is talking about the governing body. The 144,000. The hopeful elect. The 12 apostles. For 12 gates. twelve Judging the 12 tribes. King David. Yahweh Shai. Hamashiach. And our Lord. And, and our Lord Yahweh. The mountain is going to be established. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at the, 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 the pictures over there because I brought some in because I wanted to have the visuals too for this, man. Let's keep going. Let's go Psalms, back to Psalms 36 and 5. Let's get there. Yeah, I was like, take your time, do the lesson and make sure, you know, at least at least if 
if someone does watch it, they'll be maybe they'll be able to make a little bit more sense of it. Cause you know I try to water it down so, and not in the sense where I'm giving you the wrong information, but I try to make it make it plain upon tables. That's what I try to do. Make it plain upon tables. You know what I mean? Um, Psalms 36 and 5. Thy mercy, O power, is in the heavens, and thy faithfulness reacheth to the clouds. Thy righteousness is like the great mountain. Thy judgments are a great deep, O Lord, thy preservest, thy preservest man and beast. See? So you gotta you gotta come back to the law, statutes, commandments, man. Because only the most high is gonna be the one preserving you and saving you. You know what I mean? Not 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 this. This not gonna save you, man. And that's definitely not gonna save you over there, man. Let's go um down to Let's go down to 10. Oh, continue thy loving kindness unto them that that know thee and thy righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of the pride come against me. And let not the hand of the wicked remove me. There are the workers of inequity fallen. They are all, they are cast down and shall not rise up again. Yeah. These are the workers of iniquity, man. This is the iniquity that the that they working, man. This right here, that right there. This this is what's going on, man. And again, like I said, they are three separate things: the beast, his image, and the um and his mark. The beast, his image, and his mark. Those are three separate things. Let's go Ecclesiastes three and eighteen. Ecclesiastes 3 and 18. Let's go. Let's go 14. Let's start at 14. I know that whatsoever the Most High doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken away from it. See? The Most High doeth, doeth it, that men should fear before him. That which have been is now, and which, and that which is to be have already been. And the Most High requireth that which is past. Because in the past, in Egypt, they was um putting marks. They was putting marks inside themselves, the slaves, to represent that they belong to a master, man. This is this is nothing new right here. This is just the electronic version of it, man. This is nothing new under the sun, man. 16 and moreover I saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there and the place of righteousness that inequity was there I said in my heart the most high shall judge the righteous and the wicked told you so so two-thirds um, of our nation gonna get the same judgment as Esau Edom man and Obadiah tell you how Esau gonna get crushed man for there is time there is a time for there is a time there, Salakia, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. I said in my heart concerning the estate of the sons of men that the Most High might manifest them and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. They are beasts, man. The Edomites are beasts, man. They are the beasts, man. They are the beasts, man. They are the niggas, man. Let's keep going. 1 John 3 and 4. 1 John 3 and 4. Yeah, like I said, I wanted to come out and, <clears throat> and make sure I had I was on. I, I did I did this lesson and went into this, man. 1 John 3 and 4. Let's start at two. Beloved, now are now are we the sons of the Most High, Yasharala, Prince of the Power, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when we shall appear, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. 
And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. So we were just talking about how gold is tried, how silver is tried, how it's refined, and that's what's happening. And if we, if, if you put in your hope in this <laughs> and in that, you're finished, man. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is transgression of the law. And we know that he was manifested to take away our sins. And in him is no sin. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth hath not seen him, neither known him. So again, like I was saying, if you put your hope in this, man, you you don't know you don't know what the scripture's talking about, man. You have no clue what the scriptures is talking about, man. Because it's getting that time, man. It's getting that time, man. You got to put your faith, your hopes, all of that in Yah Bashem, Yah was shine, trying to get delivered out of this place, man. 1 and 20, Genesis 1 and 26. And the Most High said, let us make man in our image after our our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the fowler of the air over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth so the most high created man in his own image in the image of the most high created he him male and female see so and, and so you think if Yahweh was here the apostles was here They'll be doing this. They'll be partaking in this. <laughs> They'll be willing to line up and let them do that right there. No. No. These are the things you got to think about, man. Second Thessalonians. You know, I ain't going to keep it much longer. I feel like I made the point, but we're going to keep going just in case. Second Thessalonians. What we got? Second Thessalonians 2 and 1. Let's start there. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of the Lord of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Hamashiach is at hand. So you can't be shaken, man. You can't be shaken by this, by the unrighteous decrees, what you see on CNN, none of this stuff. You can't be shaken by this stuff, man. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Who is that man of sin? Esau, Edom, the so-called wicked elites. The top banking, the top banking heads, NATO, the EU, you know what I mean? That runs, that runs the world, man. This is, this is who, who we talking about right here, man. Look, four, who oppose, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the most high, or that is worshipped so that as he, as the most high sitteth in the temple of the most high, showing himself that he is the most high. And again, we just show how iconoclasm. That's right here. That's right here. When they when they changing the changing everything around. This is what this is. Right here. You know what I'm saying? They change they iconoclast everything up, man. They came up with this right here. They came up with this damn devil right here. This was the biggest trick they ever come um, did right there. Even though this is what the, the scriptures describe as um, um, Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. This is right here. This is what they did, man. That's what they did, man. Five. Remember ye not that when I was let with you, I told you these things? And now ye know what withholdeth. That he might be revealed in his time. He's being revealed in time. Who the wicked is, man. For the mystery of inequity doth already work only. He who no letteth will let. Until he be taken out of the way. 
And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Yeah. Not just wicked ass Esau, neither though. The two thirds, man. The two thirds, man. They gonna get it too, man. They gonna get it too. Let's keep getting it. Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Deuteronomy 6 and 4 reads, O hear, O Israel, not the world, O Israel, the Lord, our power, is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently un, unto thy children, and shalt talk to them when thou sittest in thy house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. See? So we supposed to be out here teaching you, man. Yo, you got to remember your Israelites, man. Israelites can't be partaking in this bullshit that they talking about, man. We got to pull back from this system, because this system is oppressive. Just like Spain, just like, look, just like, look, Greek, just like in Greek, the Greeks, the Romans, the Spains, Jermaine Major, Jermaine Minor, Britain, and the French. These are all, these are all Edomite um, empires. They all went around oppressing. They all went around oppressing, man. And we got to look at America just as that, because those are the seven, and America is the eighth that came out of it. And they pushing the same things, man. So we got to recognize that as Israelites, man. We got to recognize that as Israelites, man. And we got to come out of this, man. Deuteronomy 4 and... Let's start 4 and 4. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord, your power are alive, every one of you this day. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my power command me, that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. See? Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. See, so we supposed to be an example. We supposed to be an example to all the nations, man. We don't supposed to be following behind the other nations. We don't supposed to be partaking in the shit that the other nations do, man. Let's go. Let's get it. Which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. See? So we supposed to be above these nations, man. We supposed to be above these nations, man. Above them. But we are like we 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 watering watering ourselves down. Is Israel a homeborn slave? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we we this, this is what we doing, man. Might have to get that. Job 30 and 8. Let's see what that got. There were there were children. They were children of fools, yea, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. See? This is who's running the earth right now, man. The wicked, the caveman, the cave beast. Esau Edom, man. The global elite, man. The Rothschilds, the Oppenheimers, the Rockefellers. Changed their name. They, the Rockefellers is Rothschilds. You know what I mean? And Rothschild go back to um the the the, the name Rothschild is Red Shield. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you can't make this up, man. The Most High put all of this stuff here for us to see, man. For us to see in these times, man. Fifty. Let's get Psalms fifty and sixteen. Psalms fifty and sixteen. But unto the wicked, the Most High saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? See, because they say, they, you know, they say they're Christians, they're this, they're that, they're a holy nation. This, this nation is set up on the principles of the King James Bible and all of that. 
all lies, man. See it 17, seeing thou hatest instruction and casteth my words behind thee. Not just Esau either, but the two thirds too, man. I had a sister tell me I posted something and the sister jumped in my mentions out of the blue and she said some I forget what she said. She said something, um She said something. So I posted, I said, um, you know, Revelation twelve and twelve. The devil knows that he has but a short time. You know what I'm saying? So he's that's why he's turning up. Oh, well, I don't believe in the Old Testament. Op. I mean, I don't believe in the New Testament. Op. Well, you got to eat the whole roll, sister. So then the sister, man, I'm not dealing with you. How, like, like, how are you going to cut the Bible in half? <laughs> Take away or add on. And then you, you think that you're going to find salvation, man. Like, and, and, and then I'm like, and it goes back, you you swallowing the whole roll, you trying to teach me the scriptures, when clearly you don't know what you're talking about. And if I was wanting to learn, say hypothetically I was wanting to learn from you, you only going to be telling me half of the scriptures. Ain't no 100% truth in that. Of course I blocked her. <laughs> of course I blocked her. We're not doing that. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. 10. Go 10. Let's go. Let's start at 9. For to this end also did I write that I might know the proof of you, whether ye be obedient in all things. To whom ye forgive anything, I forgive also. For if I forgave anything, to whom I forgave it, for your sakes forgave I it in the person of Hamashiach. 11. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We are not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Some of y'all are ignorant of Satan's devices, though, man. A couple more, then we're going to get out of here. Like I said, I think I, I th my, my point for doing this lesson was to come out here and make sure that once and for all that, that I put it, in, you know, in my lessons, that the, is the beast, his image, and his mark are three different things. If another camp is out there trying to tell you that anything different than that, they're going off, man. They're going off. And it's not it's not about personalities. It's not about, oh, that's a charis charismatic leader or, or this. It's not about that. We are in the times where you need to know what the hell you're talking about when you in the scriptures, man. And you trying to teach people the, the scriptures, man. You need to know what the hell you're talking about. If you don't know what you're talking about, you need to sit down, shut up, study, and learn until you do know what you're talking about. 2 Timothy 3. Let's go. Let's start up. 2 Timothy 3 and 1. Know this also, that in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covenant, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Five, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away, right? <laughs> seven, ever, 2 Timothy 3 and 7, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. So you're not going to be able to come to the knowledge of the truth if you're following behind the beast, the global elite, the people that's running this country, this, this world, the, the, the things that they pushing, and the places that they're going to take you to. You're not going to be able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Because you putting yourself, you putting your stuff in that. Let's look at 10. Let's look at, let's, let's look, yeah, 10. 2 Timothy 3 and 10. But thou has fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, 
long suffering, charity, and patience. Yeah, man, the doctrine, man. The doctrine de definitely ain't talking about this. Let's go 12. 12, 2 Timothy 3 and 12. Yea, and all that will live godly in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, shall suffer persecution. Yep, you're going to suffer persecution. If you live in righteous according to the scriptures, you're going to have people against you. 13, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. 2 Timothy 3 and 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, and hast been assured of, knowing of them thou hast learnt them, knowing of whom thou hast learnt them, and that from a child that has known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise until salvation through faith which is in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. All scriptures is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instructions in righteousness, for instructions in righteousness. That the man of the Most High may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. See, so you gotta get, you gotta have the right doctrine. If you don't have the right doctrine, how are you gonna be able to navigate all this, man? Because the wrong, a false doctrine will tell you that this is nothing, and um, sleeping with white women is what you gotta watch out for. Trade embargo is what you gotta watch out for. You gotta watch out for a mark of the beast is a cop. A black cop that got a gun in his hand and shoots a black another black man, so-called black man. That's the mark of the beast. This is the shit that these other leaders are telling you to do. That they are telling you is all right. They some of them are even pushing you, telling you to get the bedrock juice, man. Right? This is what's going on right now, man. Let's get Job thirty-two and eight. Let's start at 7. Job 32 and 7. I said days should speak and multitudes of years should teach wisdom. But there is a spirit in man and an inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. Great men are not always wise, neither do the age understand judgment. Therefore I said hearken to me, I also will show mine opinion <laughs> Woo! yeah man you 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 gotta you gotta search out the right people telling you the right things in these days people telling you the wrong things in these days man you gotta you gotta leave them alone man because you gotta also remember man first peter 4 and 17 judgment starts at the house of the lord man so yeah, so I'm I'm a, I think you know I think I'm gonna let it go right there, stop it right there because um like I said I just wanted to come out and I wanted to show you that the um well, now nah, let's get let's get this last one just popped in my head this last this this last scripture let's get let's get here let's get here Revelation fourteen and nine. Get there, Revelation 14 and 9. Okay, let's go. 8. Revelation 14 and 8. And it and there follow another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, the great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. See, those are three things. See, let's look at it again in slow motion. And if and any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand 
the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Right? See? And 20 and 4. Let's get 20 and 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judged, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Hamashiach, of, of the witness of Yahweh Shai, and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither have received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years see so again those are three separate things you need to know what these things are according to the scriptures and you don't need to be partakers of them or them plagues is going to get on you too Israel so yeah so we're going to close it out with that one so with that I want to say all praises honor glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Keep pushing this, keep pushing this word, this gospel, this truth. This kingdom is crumbling, man. This kingdom is crumbling, man. I hope this lesson was edifying, Lord willing. I hope this this lesson was edifying to the remnant, men, women, children. Remain spiritual out there, cause the beast not playing, man. He pushing his image and his mark, man, hard. Kwam Yashirala, and a ba ba ba, Barakatham family, Shalom.